good morning and welcome back to another video. Um, today is a Sunday and yesterday I went out for a walk in the Cotswolds with my wife and uh, it was nice just to go somewhere else apart from the place where you are to uh, experience the outdoors. We had a nice old five mile walk in the Cotswolds. But anyway, the reason I'm out here today is because of yesterday. Because I noticed a lot of butterflies and wildflowers and that are starting to come out so I brought myself to the local park and we've got a wildflower meadow here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the wildflower meadow and see what we can get. I've just bought my macro lens and my 50mm prime and I'll just work with that and a flask of coffee and yes I've got a few hours of spare so this will be a short video. I'll catch you later. arrived in one of the uh, one of the meadows that they leave for uh, wildflowers there's an abundance of yellow and green at the moment um, there are a couple more over the way and uh, just a case of looking around for you know just the that little that little scene that you can take a picture of, of these all these lovely ye little yellow flowers absolutely marvelous so I'm recording with my GoPro 8 today the um, reason being because I want to stick the GoPro on a hot shoe with my camera um, to give you a better view of what the pictures I'm taking um, but yeah, lovely, absolutely lovely marvellous, so I'm just going to carry on walking around this field and see what we see and then go into the next one so these are the yellow flowers I'm seeing dotted around this field, I have a feeling they're cowslips um, and it's an abundance in this field, absolutely loads of them. Now it's trying to find sort of like a specimen where the flowers are, are, are nicely wide open, you know, because they're they're not quite open yet, and I think they're just going past their past their peak at the moment, which is a shame because that would have made a lovely photograph. I'm just trying to find sort of like a set that looks, you know, that doesn't look as though it's going over a bit. Right, I think I might have found one here, just this one just here, and it's wide open facing the sun. It's got little red specks inside as well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself up. I have to lie down on the floor and um, use my bag as a rest. So I'll get set up, I'm going to take that picture. Right, I've got you mounted on the hot shoe of my camera now. You can probably just see the lens. Aperture priority, auto, ISO. Um, I just want to concentrate on the aperture, nothing else. I'm manually focusing on F22 at the moment. Just waiting for the wind to die down. Take a couple there. I'm going to bring myself back a bit. being careful not to um, trample any of the other flowers that are around me. It's lucky I've got quite a good bit. So that flower is now quite a way, distance away now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce my aperture. F18, two hundredths of a second, ISO 400. 
just inching myself closer so I move myself quite quite a way away so I'm just inching myself closer back button focus in so now I've um, taken quite a few photos of that one uh, all at varying apertures, varying distances, and uh, I'll put it up on a screen. Right, I'm going to take this off of there and put it back on there. Oh, flipping it. I've got to try and get up now, that's the hardest bit, you know that, don't you? Right, let's sort this out. Right, that's that done. I've still got you attached to the camera hot shoe. Great tip, right there. Wow, it was literally right off my head. Um, yeah, that's a good that's a good catch that and uh, this 105 macro will indeed do that justice that's if i've got the focus right <laughs> set it on manual focus right okay so i'm going to put that up on the screen as well it's a nice little bonus image always nice when it happens it's you know live as it is so anyway i'm really tempted to go over and follow it but i won't because i'm here to do a pacific thing so i'm just going to walk to the next next field now I have a feeling it's been ploughed, but um, yeah, we'll have, we'll have a look anyway. Right, just uh, walked into the other meadow, and again. An abundance of cowslips. I've never seen so many cowslips in my life. I think they're cowslips, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I've never seen so many. Nice. Yeah, so it's uh, looks like it's going to be a, a yellow day. Anyway, I continue walking around this meadow. Just actually got into it actually, on that corner back there. And um, just have a look. See what we've got, we've got one here, but uh, I'm going to stand up and take this shot because um, through the lens of the macro I'll take a bit of video it looks like just an explosion like it's uh, fireworks from above, so I'll let you have a look at that and I'm going to take the picture. Right so that's the uh, image that's looking through the, um, the camera there, and it looks really nice, it looks like a an explosion of fireworks being recorded through the 105mm macro lens on the 7500s Nikon. It's really good, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the picture of that and uh, put that up on the screen. game of hunt the squirrel at the moment it's right in front of it it's right on that branch right on the enemy lens <laughs> he was over there and he bounced I wish I took photos he was on a move again anyway, I think we're uh, leaving B I got what I wanted so I've moved away from the meadows now and uh, come over into farmland, making my way over to a copse that I know. Um, shouldn't really do it because it is private land, but I'm going to walk through this gap here and it's just over there.
Right, so I'm slowly making my way back to the car now. Um, I call this video a day. I've got to go and pick my wife up from work. That's why I came out. I've only been out for about three and a half hours, but it's worth it. It's always worth coming out with your camera. Went to the wildflower meadow. Um, was not expecting it to be covered in, both meadows to be covered in cow slips, as nice as they are. Um, took a couple of images there. And then from there I walked um, over into the other park to a copse I know and uh, took random pictures all of which I'll put up on the screen at some point in time but yeah it's been a nice day nice, nice uh, couple of hours out so precursor to what's coming up um, later on in the week I'm going to be walking up to the cops that I was at last weekend in the last video the last video I mean the one coming up up on there somewhere and uh, just that was a recce so what I'm going to do later on in the week around about Thursday probably Friday might is uh, park my car somewhere close and just walk in there just to see if the bluebells are out if the bluebells are out what we should do is a wild camp and um, then what I do in the morning is get up and uh, walk to the cops and get the good light in the morning to photograph all the bluebells if the bluebells are not out then what I will do is I will do the wild camp anyway but just in a different area so I think we'll make that a plan so anyway, I'll leave with this video. I'm going home, put the wife up, and I'll see you later on in a week. Bye.